people with type 1 diabetes can mean a lifetime of monitors and insulin pumps. In today's Health Watch, Local 3's Connie Fellman tells us about a new implant that could replace all that, making life a whole lot easier for type 1 diabetics. 1.6 million Americans are living with type 1 diabetes, managing their blood sugar with insulin injections and medications. But now there's new hope that could replace the monitors and pumps for good. Sydney Stevens is a busy, busy 12 year old. This one's for gymnastics, this one's for swimming. She does 16 hours of gymnastics, she does five hours of volleyball, she does four hours of track and field and four hours of lacrosse and then an hour of swim. She does all of this while managing her type 1 diabetes. This one is my pump. It gives me insulin when I'm high. Sydney monitors her glucose levels with her smartphone and now bioengineers at Rice University are working on a new implant that would replace these monitors. We hope that we can have the body uh, regulate its own blood glucose. In type 1 diabetes, a person's own immune system attacks and kills insulin-producing beta cells within the pancreas. Now, researchers are growing beta stem cells in the lab. We want to now use these cells, combine them with innovative tissue engineering strategies that protect them from the host immune system. This 3D printed hydrogel scaffold protects the cells that are implanted in a patient's stomach area. This mesh keeps the immune cells out and at the same time nutrients and oxygen as well as the insulin can diffuse in and out of these biomaterial constructs. Allowing the body to create and regulate its own insulin. I hope about diabetes is even if there isn't a cure that the technology gets better every year. Researchers hope to move to human trials in the next few years. Each implant would contain a half a billion beta cells, the same amount we're all born with, but in type 1 diabetes, those cells have been completely destroyed. Researchers believe the implants would need to be replaced every five years. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News.